just this week, Nissan released how they're carrying forward in these very uncertain times. Nissan details the closing of several global plants, trimming down many of their product stacks and their production lines as well. They are going to be focusing on their strongest markets and pulling out of others. This is key for the survival and profitability of a business to trim the fat, so to speak. During this Nissan Next announcement, we were teased with several of their upcoming models. Uh, this EV crossover, uh, based off of the Aria concept was glimpsed and the silhouette of the next and the brand new Z Coupe. And in today's video, I'll be covering all the rumors and speculations about the upcoming Nissan Z or the 400Z and what it needs to do to crush the competing Toyota Supra. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, Luxurious Fleet. My name's Kirk, if you're new here. And this channel is dedicated to covering Japanese autos. I do focus a lot on Toyota and Lexus, but I love covering everything Japanese auto maker wise. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos on the new Nissan Z. I am extremely excited for the new Z. Growing up in the mid 2000s, I adored the Nissan Coupes. Uh, the 240SX was like the king of the Need for Speed games, specifically Need for Speed Underground. The 300ZX and its T-top and its twin turbo engine were and still are to die for. And I remember learning how to use Photoshop for the first time in ninth grade by modifying and Photoshopping a Nissan 350Z. But its replacement, the 370Z, never pulled on the heartstrings for me like the predecessors did. I much preferred the styling of the simpler, older Z cars. And now in 2020, the 370Z is ready to be replaced after like 11 years of service. So what do we know so far about its replacement car? At this point in time, we don't know a whole lot, but we do now have some images to take a look at. We can extrapolate from there. And then we probably have a good idea what the power plants and transmissions are going to be. First, let's break down the images we have from the Nissan Next announcement for the upcoming Z, which I expect to be called the 400Z. In the first image, we see the iconic fastback roof of the Z line. And unlike the 300ZX and 350Z, it has no indication of a trunk-like liftback, just one continuous curve that flows from the top of the windshield to the rear of the car, much like the 370Z and of course the original 240Z. And the next picture we can make out at the top and the bottom of the headlight assembly, some really strong daytime running lights, which are of course at the very end of a very, very long and elongated hood, which appears much more in line with the earlier Z cars compared to like the stubby nose 350Z. You can also make out some fairly large wheels with this. I mean, they look like 20s to me. And overall, the design seems to be much more in line with the 240Z, which will give this more of a retro muscle car look. Hey guys, smash the like button for the new Z Coupe. That will help out my channel tremendously with the YouTube algorithms. Okay, let's jump into the powertrains. The next Z needs two different powertrains, just like the 300ZX had. The 350Z and the 370Z only offered the amazing VQ V6 engines, but variety is necessary this time around. And when you look at the new Supra, it has two force induced options. You have the two liter four cylinder, which just came out here in America. Uh, it's called the 2.0 Supra, and it has around 255 horsepower. And of course you have the three liter inline six with now 382 horsepower. And I hope Nissan beats both of these options with their turbo variants. We're going to use the Infiniti Q60 as an example here, which can be had in the 3.0 turbo offering, uh, 300 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. And that would be the base model. This would smash the 2.0 Supra and make it a very tough sell for the Toyota. The Q60 Red Sport has the same three liter twin turbo option, but bumps in a, out an impressive 400 horsepower and an early 350 pound-feet of torque. Even with more power than the Supra, I really don't expect it to be quite as fast in a straight line. And I'm expecting low four zero to 60 for the 400 horsepower variant. However, Nissan could possibly break below four seconds, say the heck with tradition and offer an all wheel drive variant we see in the Infiniti Q60. While purists might scoff at the thought of that, it would be a smack in the face to the rear wheel drive only Supra. And maybe they save the all wheel drive variant for like a Nismo 
Nemo 400Z or something and squeeze out even more power from that twin turbo setup. So what will we see for transmissions? Well, I would expect the seven speed auto to carry over and I pray to the Z gods that they wouldn't offer a Nissan CVT with this. That would just be the, the end of mankind. Most importantly, they need to keep the six speed manual transmission. I mean, you gotta save the manuals, right? This is paramount for its success, in my opinion. And the eight-speed auto in the Supra is pretty darn fast, no doubt, but it's not what many enthusiasts wanted, nor did they want a BMW, but that's another video all on its own. Leave it to the Z to carry the torch to offer a six-speed manual pick your own gear gearbox to show toyota how it's done look for a more modern interior of course with all the goodies carried over from updated nissan models <laughs> and unlike the austrian made supra the z will be a true japanese sports coupe with production likely to continue at the kaminokawa plant in tochigi japan pricing for the 300 horsepower variant should be right under 40k to fight the 2.0 supra and the 400 horsepower variant should slot right under 50k to fight, of course, the 3.0 Supra. Ideally, we would like to see a $35,000 300 horsepower variant and a $45,000 400 horsepower variant for the 400Z. And that would make both of those an absolute no-brainer over the Toyota. Availability could be this year by the end of 2020, and I would like to see the next Z to be called the 400Z for the 300 horsepower variant and a and 400 ZX for the 400 horsepower variant. How do you guys think Nissan should handle the nomenclature for this new Z and the different powertrains? Do you think the, the 400 Z for the 300 horsepower and the 400 ZX for the 400 horsepower would make sense? I don't know. I like, of course I'm partial to the, the 300 ZX's naming. But with aggressive styling, capable power plants, six speed manual, and a true made in Japan heritage, we could easily see the Supra be dethroned as the enthusiast sports coupe from, J well, from Japan, <laughs> giving fans of Japanese cars a great option, slotting above the incredible Mazda MX-5. And according to my poll, you guys would much rather have the upcoming Japanese made Z over the Supra. And I would be too. If all my speculations turned to be true, I, it would be a no-brainer for me. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support my channel, you can become a Patreon on my Patreon page, or you can simply just head over to my PayPal version and support me with donations over there. And I'll see you guys in the comments like always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Peace out.